you ready? Let's begin. First stop, let's look at the eye. Well, based on the definition, the eye, I mean our eye, is the organ that gives you sight. Can you think of any other meaning related to eye? If you said the eye of the needle, well, thumbs up for you. Yes, and the meaning of the eye for the eye in the needle is the hole in the needle which you put the thread through. Aha, uh -huh. I hear some of you saying that there's another meaning to the word eye. Yes, you are right. It refers it also refers to the dark spot on a potato or similar plant from which a new stem or leaf will grow. See, you are all getting it. Well done. But wait, how are the meanings of the word I related? Think about it, kids. If you say they are related in terms of structure, well, you are right. They are all small and takes the shape of the eye. Now, next stop, say ah. Uh. Yes, let's look at the meaning of mouth. Well, based on the definition of the meaning of our mouth is the opening through which an animal or human takes in food. Now, think of the other meaning of the word mouth. Yes, excellent. The opening of a bottle, jar or container. Now, look at the picture. Can you see the similarity as to how the meaning of the mouth of the bottle is related to the meaning of the mouth that is on our face? Yes! What? Did I hear some of you saying something? Yes, you are right! The other meaning for the word mouth refers to an opening leading out of or into a hollow place. Like the mouth of a cave or a mine. Yes, you! Yes, you said something about the um, lower end of the river. Did you just say that? That's right. The lower end of the river leading to the sea is known as the mouth of the river. Well, all of you are so smart. Now, based on all the definition and meanings that we have gone through just now, can you tell me how the meanings of the mouth is related? Bravo! You are right if you say it's related in terms of structure as it takes the shape of the mouth. In terms of location, it is always situated at the opening of a place. Hey, what are you looking at, Alex? Your neck. My neck? Neck is also a polysemous word. Let me take you through. Now, my neck or your neck is the part of the body which joins the head to the shoulders. As you can see, my neck is very long. Can you think of any other words that has the word neck in it? Hmm, I heard someone say the neck of a bottle. The neck of a bottle is a part of a hollow object which is at the top and is narrower than the part that is below it. Look at this. That is my neck. A neck of a soccer player and the neck of a bottle. Look at the outline that I have highlighted for you. Now, I know some of you musicians out there also know the neck of a guitar. Look at the arrow pointing. That is the neck of a guitar. Now, my big question is, how is my neck, the neck of a bottle, and the neck of a guitar is polysemous. Well, I can see the neck of the guitar is as long as your neck. Hey, Alex, that's mean. 
But you're kind of right, Alex. My neck is long, the neck of a guitar is long, and the neck of a bottle is kind of long, but it's narrow. So, we can say that it is related in terms of structure, based on the shape that it takes. Hey, hey, Marty, why are you taking the mic away from me? Well, I want to talk about shoulder, you know. Um, I want to talk about shoulder. I know shoulder is also a polysemous word. I'm going to tell you all about it. May I? May I? Sure, go ahead. Alright. Well, your shoulder and my shoulder refers to one of the two parts of the body at each side of the neck which join the arms to the rest of the body. Now, take a look at the shoulder of this handsome man. Hey, isn't that Hadi Mirza? Yes, I'm Hadi Zebra. <laughs> You're not Hadi Zebra. <laughs> well, I'm hand as handsome as he is. Now, back to polysemy. Can you think of any other meaning for the word shoulder? Yes, Hadi, you are right. Now, look at the shoulder of the bottle. Can you see which part makes up the shoulder? Point to the screen. Yes, you are right. Well, what makes you decide that that is the shoulder of the bottle? Think about it. Now, let's compare the human shoulder with the shoulder of the bottle. It has been highlighted for you. So, if you had said that the shoulder of the bottle is similar to our shoulder because of the structure, well, I would say you did it. Well, well, well. Did I hear somebody say shoulder of a mountain? Well, you are right. Can you point to where do you think the shoulder of the mountain is? If you say it is there where the arrow is pointing, that part is not sloping. You got it right. Now, I'm sure you can think of another meaning for the word shoulder. I'll give you a clue. Somewhere along the roadway. Great! I can see some of you already know what I mean. Yes, I'm referring to the edge of border running on either side of a roadway. That is known as the shoulder of the road. Now, Let's go deeper and find out in what way are the meanings of shoulder related. Let's figure it out. Let's see if you got the answer correct. Well, if you say they are related in terms of structure, well, thumbs up for you. Yes, the meanings refer to the shape it takes. And if you also say that they are related in terms of location, well, another thumbs up for you, because it is also related on where it can be found, which is at the side.